The Vice Minister of the National Health Commission, Wang Hesheng, has briefed the media on how authorities are trying to control and treat the epidemic in Wuhan. He was appointed as a member of the party's Hubei Provincial Committee last Sunday. Our reporter, Tang Bu, has more. The State Council held a routine press conference this morning in Wuhan to brief on the epidemic control and prevention work so far in Hubei province, where officials and specialists from the National Health Commission as well as Hubei provincial government participated and met with media. Now the press conference touched upon supporting medical teams from other provinces, municipalities, as well as military makeshift cabin hospitals and new confirmed cases and the timing of using ECMO, a medical device that can help patients breathe without using their lungs. Now so far supporting medical teams by the end of Friday uh, in total 200 and 17 of them, uh, with over 50,000 medical workers, have already arrived in Hubei, and among which about 118 medical teams, have, uh, with, with over 20,000 medical workers, have already right here in Wuhan to help. And also there are nine cabin hospitals ready, and the government is working on renovate more gyms and also other news facilities to convert normal, ordinary uh, hospital words into those makeshift hus hospitals uh, to try to host more patients. And uh, let's take a listen at what the Vice Minister of the National Health Commission has to say about this. We will manage all patients by category. If the case is serious, the patient should be treated in a designated hospital. If one has mild symptoms, he or she will be treated in a makeshift hospital. Suspected cases could be treated and observed in quarantine points. We've changed a number of gymnasiums, exhibition centres and training centres into makeshift hospitals. At present, we've opened nine makeshift hospitals with more than 6,900 beds. And these hospitals have received over 5,600 patients.